Greetings, my lovelies. Welcome back to the last day of Bugmas. <laughs> and hopefully I've saved the best for last. Today I'll be eating scorpions. In case you don't know what Bugmas is, it's my five day countdown to Christmas. I shall put the links to my previous days of bug eating down below, as well as my last year's Bugmas. So you can see more entomophagy in action. This is the scorpion mix, water scorpion, which looks a lot like the giant water bug that I had last year, and the Asian force scorpion. Okay. So scorpions are technically not bugs. They are arachnids in the same family as spiders, but arachnid must doesn't sound right. So <laughs> bug miss we'll have to use kind of loosely. All right, let's go ahead and see what's inside this package. All righty. Yesterday I ate a giant centipede and it was impressive. And I'm expecting these ones to be as well. Let's just shake them on out. Oh, they're in a plastic bag. So these ones are double wrapped too. All right, here we go. Okay, okay, yeah. Yep, and I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There they are. They smell a little bit oily. Oh, there's an, a leg. Oh, there's, oh man. So this scorpion lost its one of its front legs, which is too bad. Oh, this one is whole though. This is good. Okay, this one is still whole. Nice. They're calling these water scorpions, but they look a lot like the water bugs that I had last year. Yep, exactly. Look at the size of that water bug. It is gigantic, like next to my face or in the palm of my hand. So this is not technically a scorpion at all. I think this is just a water bug because look, it only has six legs. If you look on the back, yep, the scorpion has eight legs. Look at those eyes. So those are the water bugs, and there's the scorpion, beautiful and shiny. I'm going to taste one of these first. I remember this not being all that great, but not exactly terrible either, but happy bug myths, it's a lucky moss. Hmm. It's a lot to get through. Mm hmm. That actually doesn't taste too bad, but what it does taste, it tastes a little bit rancid, kind of oily and just not that fresh. Like you've had a potato chip that's been sitting out in the sun for a little while. I don't think this is a very good assessment of this because this does not taste like the last water bug that I had last time. In terms of texture, it's crunchy and a lot to get through. There's a lot of chitin and a lot of exoskeleton and wings and stuff to get through. So in terms of texture, it's not really a pleasant experience. So I've had scorpions before in the form of a lollipop and it was a really, really tiny one, nothing of this size. My concern is that it is very, very crunchy. Here we go, it's the Lucky Moss. Wow. Hmm. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. Very, very crisp and big, big crunch, which I found surprising. But unlike the ants, which were really kind of difficult to get through, this kind of just shatters in your mouth. And once you crunch it up, it's actually quite pleasant. It kind of reminds me of like cracklins, like when you have really crunchy pork cracklins. In terms of flavor, it's kind of similar too. It tastes kind of meaty and there's some salt on there, which really complements it. It actually is quite good. I like this. I think of all the things I've had for Bugmas, I think I like the scorpions best. Nice. Mm-hmm. You just have to make sure you really, really grind up all the bits really well. <laughs> all right, so that wraps up Bugmas 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I hope you guys have a safe and happy holiday. And yeah, happy new year to you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Show this video a little bit of love. And I shall see you in my next video. Tulu, take care. Bye. <laughs> and happy holidays. Hello, Frank. How's it going? Oh my God, I'm just crazy. You know, we're just hanging out with the scorpions.